Hi guys, so Jackie M, your friendly neighborhood Thermomix consultant. And also, obviously, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a former Malaysian restaurant owner based here in Sydney, Australia. And I'm in the group of uh, developing recipes that will work, Malaysian recipes um, specifically, that will work in a Thermomix. Okay, so today we're going to cover something called Nasi Dagang. Lesser uh, known than some other Malaysian favorites, but I hope you find this useful. This is something that I think is a good way to display, showcase some of the uh, functionalities of a Thermomix. Okay, so what is nasi dagang? Dagang actually means just to trade. Okay, so nasi is rice, so kind of I guess traders rice. Don't quote me on this. I haven't looked up the on the history behind this dish, but yeah, that's what nasi dagang actually means, okay? Uh, nasi dagang is a rice dish, a coconut rice dish that's typically served with a fish curry and some pickles as well. So we're going to make all of that, okay? So first of all, the rice, okay? So I've got some plain rice here. Now, when I went to Trungganu, which is where this place, um, where this dish originates from, when I went to Trungganu, uh, the version that I had from the most famous nasi dagang place in Trungganu was uh, they use bas uh, basmati rice and it's always a combination of uh, long grain rice and sticky rice okay so basmati rice and a uh, sticky rice in a two to one ratio today i'm actually just going to use jasmine rice because i got a lot of jasmine rice okay so traditionally they'll tell you mix the two together and soak this in water rinse and soak it in water for uh for five to six hours okay but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to wet this. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to use two thermomixes because like I said, we've got a lot of like different elements to cover and I don't want to, I don't want to drag this out too long. Okay. So I'm going to use, I've got a, a thermomix TM5 at the back and a TM6 at the front here. So I'm going to actually cook the rice in the TM5. Now, uh, traditionally this rice is after soaking for five, six hours. It, uh, you're gonna steam it okay so you're gonna steam it for a short while till it's half cooked and then you gotta add stuff to it and then steam it for a little bit longer and then you gotta add more stuff to it and steam and finish it off okay so it does drag out a bit but we're, we're, we're hacking it today we're short cutting everything okay so uh, one of the ways to cook rice using a thermomix is the simmer method which is what we're going to do today okay so what we're going to do we're going to add water in here bit more water here okay so I've got the jug with the rice here I want to put the rice in the simmer basket this is what it looks like okay goes in here this is the simmer basket for a TM6 okay so if you own a TM5 and wonder why it looks a bit different that's because I've got a simmer uh, a TM6 simmer basket I'm using here okay so I'm gonna transfer this in here like I said you're supposed to steam this but we're going to fast track this so we're going to simmer this halfway okay uh and also you know what i'm going to shortcut this further and i'm going to oh no doesn't matter okay well we'll let we'll get this started there's a little bit too much water here so i'm just gonna take a little bit out okay so i've got the rice in here and i'm going to cook this in my tm5 for 10 minutes at 100 degrees and at speed 4 okay so it's spinning at speed 4 uh, now I've got this here and by the way before I go on any further if you're based in uh, Australia or New Zealand you can buy if you want to buy the mix and you don't have a consultant who looks after you you can buy it from me just hit me up for detail but in the meantime for everyone else you can actually just sign up to my Thermomix email list at jackiem.com.au slash tm6 okay and that's where I will be keeping everyone updated on what's going on in my ongoing experimentation with Malaysian recipes in the Thermomix so uh, if you're interested to find out about that go for your life sign up there now and I also actually have a WhatsApp community where I, you know, basically engage with my community directly. If you've got any questions, hit me up. I'll answer them right away over there or as soon as I can. And also I'll share a lot of like 
stuff that I come across during the day, okay? Uh, so if you want to join that, hit me up. And um, yeah, and finally, if you know of anyone who's uh, or an NDIS participant, if you're in Australia, yeah, I can help them out with that, okay? Because I am a an NDIS program consultant with Thermomix, okay? So, because uh, guys might know that Noah, my son, is an NDIS participant as well, so I know a little bit about that, and I also am a certified, uh, well, I, I, I am a an NDIS program consultant with Thermomix. Um, and finally, if you are based in, Australia, based in the city in particular, within traveling distance of me, and you want me to come to your place and do a demo, or even just show you a few things about the Thermomix, let me know, and we can work something out, okay? So that's going, and what we're going to do now is I want to show you a few other things that are going into this dish. So first of all, I've got the fish here. Uh, I've got a whole tuna that I bought in Cabramatta on the weekend, and it's cut into cutlets here. And what we're going to do in a bit is we're going to actually, uh, I'm going to, you're supposed to steam it for 20 minutes according to the original recipe. I'm just going to maybe simmer it or steam it in a thermomix, okay? Uh, the reason why we do that is because we don't want to cook it from start to finish in the in the sauce because fish can be quite delicate and it might fall apart, okay? So we're going to do that, but also we're going to, while this whole thing is happening, uh, we are going to get some of our spices ready for the rice when the 10 minute mark is done. And also I've got some carrots and some cucumber and I'm going to make a pickle to serve with the dish, okay? And we'll do that in here using the Thermomix cutter, so all shortcuts all the way. I've got some uh, turmeric here, I've got a very, very tough lump of the langal that's going to go in the fish curry that we're going to cook uh, i've got some garlic here these are garlic cloves and i want some onion and i've got some fish curry powder and i've got some uh fenugreek that's going in the rice okay you can buy fenugreek at indian grocery stores okay or just in the spice section of your supermarket probably you should be able to find it i've got some leftover bits of uh asam kuping is what they call it these are like uh dried uh, we call them dried tamarind slices but they're not technically actually tamarind but what they do do is that they pr produce a uh, sour note to your dish if you can't find this you can use tamarind okay that's going to go in the curry sauce this gives it a little bit more of a uh, uh you know layer to the flavor or, you know, worst come to worst, you can just add a squeeze of lime juice or lemon juice, okay? Uh, and we want a um, cinnamon stick, okay? Let me go and grab that. And also we want some ginger. I don't have any fresh ginger here today, but I'm going to just use a minced ginger from a, from a bottle, okay? I mean, it is what it is. So that's the minced ginger we're going to use. And in the meantime, let's use the kara. Okay? So this is the brand new Thermomix cutter and I actually spoke to someone on the weekend and they, they, they thought that bought, bought a Thermomix cutter and I told them no it's not actually available for sale yet they bought it online and to prove me wrong they showed me their order and it turned out that I actually bought a similar product from a different company not realizing so there are actually like uh, companies out there who sell like parts that are not from Thermomix, okay? So just make sure you buy the right thing, okay? Just in case you buy something you're not happy with, or worse still, you buy something that actually causes problems in your machine, okay? So the cutter comes with a spindle, Let's, I'll just put it in there. Comes with its own second bowl that goes in there. And it comes with this thing that's got two sides and you'll tell the difference by the color of the, um, you know, the bit on top, okay? So if you use it with the light color uh, facing upwards, uh, that's for grating, okay? If you use it the other way with the dark side up, that's going to be for slicing. And then grating and slicing come in two different settings, uh, uh, coarse or fine, okay? So what we're going to do 
we're going to uh, first of all let's uh, slice up some you know what slice up some garlic that's going to go in the rice and slice up some onion that's also going in rice and to do that I'm just going to if you can see the setting over here so we're going in here and we're going to go slicing okay so I want thin slices and I only want a little bit okay so I want just a little bit of onion I'm gonna use uh, a little bit of the onion sliced up to go in the rice and I'm gonna use the rest of it minced to go for the curry okay so we're gonna use the same onion so let me peel it quickly okay Move all this out of the way so you can see things properly. Okay, so this is better. Okay, I'm just gonna use, or oh, you know what, I only need a very small amount for the rice, right? Doesn't matter. I'll slice what I can slice, and the rest of it I'm gonna throw back in the bowl to mince later on. Okay, so that amount, okay, thin slice, off it goes, in it goes. And garlic, okay. I only need a couple of cloves of garlic, okay. And here it goes. Let's have a look. Now, here you go. So, only a small amount, but that's all you need for your rice, okay. So scrape it up and if you have ginger you want to actually grate some ginger or slice some ginger to go in as well okay so this is enough and what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rice I want to take out the spindle because I'm done with the onion for the moment let's have the rice okay you don't want the rice completely cooked through you just want to partially cook it okay okay so it's partially cooked and now i'm going to actually chuck in all this okay it's going to go in and mix it through i'm going to chuck in some fenugreek and a little bit of ginger and then a bit of salt mix it through you know what, what I'm going to do I'm actually going to transfer this into the steamer and I'm going to use the simmer basket for the fish okay because like I said we need to actually simmer or steam the fish a little bit and I was thinking like if I stuck the fish on top I don't want the fish juices to fall into the rice and turn it all kind of like fishy so we're going to transfer this out into the steamer basket okay and this is what the water looks like afterwards okay so it's a little bit foggy it's from the starch from the rice okay so the good thing about cooking your rice this way is that like it's less starchy basically okay so usually when you cook rice in a rice cooker or in a saucepan by the absorption me method all the starch gets like uh, retained this way it actually washes away like some of the starchiness so i'm just kind of like thinking through how best to use this for the nasi dagang recipe okay and if you've got your own suggestions let me know I'd love to hear it but like I said typically what you would do is you soak the rice for five six hours and then you steam it gently for 15 minutes or so uh, take it off the heat add the onion garlic stuff that I've just done um, steam it further add some coconut cream or coconut milk 
and then steam it further and then add a bit more coconut cream and then steam it till it's done okay so that's how you would traditionally do it but we are short cutting stuff somewhat today because we want to be able to do like this layered cooking and also um, do everything at once really okay so this is the rice after it's transferred in here and i'm going to stick this in the thermal in the meantime i'm going to put this back in here okay i'm going to chop my fish pieces in here okay so these are the bits cutlets that we're going to cook up okay And this is going to go on top, all right? Okay, I've cooked it again at speed four. I don't know whether that's uh, overkill, but we'll find out. Uh, in the meantime, let's get on. Let me just give this a wash. And I'll come back and I'm gonna use it for the salad ingredients, okay? Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to do this again. This time we're going to do the pickles, okay? Uh, where's that spindle? Here we go. Okay, now usually you would hand cut the pickle ingredients, but like I said, we're going to use the cutter and we're going to grate it, okay, which means light side up and this goes in and first we've got the cucumber. Uh, now, uh, you would usually want pineapple as well okay i don't have any pineapple so we're just going to make do with these two uh cucumber and carrots and you just want to core out the the the, the soft tip in the middle just use a spoon to do that okay and the carrots we're just going to cut top and tail Scoot that out. Okay, so easy. And now, instead of slicing mode, we are now switching to grating. Okay? So we're going to grate the carrots on thick mode. it this is what we got here okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer this out remember to take out the spindle okay if you don't uh, you could end up breaking it next time you try and 
blend something in your Thermomix. Okay, let me just clean up this area a little bit because of the pith from the cucumber. Okay, let me just get rid of this. We're going to just make a quick pickle, okay? This is very, very easy. No cooking involved. Got the pickle ingredients in here, courtesy of the Thermomix. It's a bit trapped in here as well, okay? What we're going to do is just transfer this out. some vinegar in there. Sugar. You want this to taste slightly sweet at the end, okay? So because it's got to counter the sourness, it means using a fair bit of sugar. salt yeah so just mix this through okay and just set it aside yeah Just another 10 minutes in. Let's have a look at the fish, how it's going. Okay. It's a bit full. Okay, the fish is more or less done. Well, let's steam it for a little bit longer. Okay, so what we want to do now, remember galango, uh, turmeric, onion, more onion, a little bit more onion, that's the leftovers from the, uh, from the grater, the slicer just now. Uh, we're going to put a bit more garlic in here. So, and down it close. And we're going to blitz this, okay? Put this on. Thirteen seconds. Let's just blitz it a little bit more because the galanga was quite tough. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to add some curry powder to this. And some ginger, okay? So if you have ginger on hand, you would stick the whole lump of ginger in there, but I don't, so I'm just putting a spoonful of 
ginger mince in there. Okay, curry powder. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a Malaysian curry powder. This is Baba. And it's actually meat curry powder. I know you can get Baba's fish curry powder. I don't have any on hand. So I'm just going to use this. It doesn't matter whether you use fish curry powder or meat curry powder. They both taste great, okay? Um, I might actually add a little bit more. Okay. I might just add a little bit more curry powder. Okay, I found some fish curry powder. Same brand. So I'm just going to top it up with that, okay? Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some oil in here and I'm going to fry it up, okay? So let's begin. That's what it looks like right now. I'm going to set it to cook. Put this splatter down. That's also part of the TM6. Uh, and I'm going to cook it for, say, 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see how it looks. I'm going to put this on speed 2. And let it go. Okay, we're going to have a look at the fish. The rice, okay, the rice is going to need a bit more steaming. But what we're going to do is... Oh, it's not too bad actually. Rice is done. Okay, so usually what you would be do doing with the rice is you would be steaming it with like coconut milk, okay? But uh, we skip the whole coconut milk process, we're going to add coconut milk powder instead. So I've got some coconut milk powder here. I'm going to stick a couple of spoons of it in here. And just toss it through. I'm going to transfer the rice in here. In the Varoma, the thermo server. it through. The great thing about steaming rice is that like the texture is much better, okay? Okay, and let it sit. And this is the pickles. We're going to strain out some of the juices. Just right. And here's the fish. This looks like. We're going to chuck this out, okay? Hmm. Let's have a look at the paste. How's it looking? Okay. So it's looking good. It's frying up. 
Okay, here's what it looks like now after this has only been like eight minutes or so, okay? Looks good. Let's go ahead and add the coconut milk in here. Some of the asam kaping. Okay, again, if you don't have it, you can add some tamarind extract. I'm gonna get this started cooking again. Uh, a bit of sugar. Remember, Tunganu food is a little bit sweet, okay? And a little bit of salt. And I'm going to put a bit of chicken powder to this. That's my chicken powder. Just a bit of chicken powder. Okay, let's get this cooking again. You know what? I'm going to cover it with the uh let's the lid gone with the lid yeah and the speed and all that is uh, very arbitrary okay so i do the whole aga aga cooking don't stress out too much uh I, i'll give you guys the recipe just make sure you sign up jackiem.com.au slash tm6 and I'll make sure you get a whole lot of copy of the recipe. If you don't, just message me and I'll, I'll organize which come through when it's ready, okay? Okay, let's stop this for a second and have a look. I'm gonna taste test this a little bit. Every time I stop the TM6 midway, um, it has a built-in safety feature, which is that it doesn't open right away. Okay, unlike the TM5, uh, it actually counts down from 12 so that it cools down gently before it opens up. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. The fish curry sauce. I feel... Like you could have a little bit more sugar. And maybe a little bit more chicken powder. Okay, so the fish is already cooked. And I'm going to put some gloves on. Place the fish pieces in there directly. We don't want to cook it for too long because we don't want this to break up. Okay, it's already breaking up just by me lifting it up. I'm going to actually, you know, while I've got the opportunity, I'm going to take some burns out of it. It's just fish is a little bit burnier than I would like. Let's cover. And this time I'm going to do it in reverse spin and on low setting okay okay let's fish curry let's try this not bad okay sort it i could have probably used a little bit less fish uh, a little bit less curry powder, but that aside, it tastes fine, you know. So we've got the rice here. Got the pickles. Okay. And let's grab a couple of chunks of fish. I'm 
pixels. There you go. That's your Thermomix Nasi Daga. All right. Give it a shot and don't forget I'll send out the recipes if you ask for it and especially if you sign up at jackiem.com.au slash tm6. Uh, if you're based in Sydney or anywhere near me, you want me to come over to your place to do a Thermomix cooking experience based on Malaysian recipes, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.